What's good with y'all? What's good? What's good? We tuned in for another video. Y'all can see I'm in the car. I'm in the uh, parking lot at AutoZone. About to return the uh, radiator hose and then pick some stuff up. Because today, my plan is to crank Dolo up and break the camshaft in. So that's my plan. So I'm in my hometown. I had to come holler at Will. Uh, now I'm about to run over and grab some racing gas. Uh, see if they got 10 gallons. So I'm trying to get two two cans of racing gas right quick for the first start up. Cause like I said, I plan on starting this thing up. Then uh, I'm gonna go by the shop and see if I can hunt down an alternator spacer car. I don't have one. If all else fails, I just buy I just buy the whole little plate thing just to get the space out of the car. I'm trying to crank up and do break in all that today. So I'm about to uh, run in here, handle that. Then I'll see y'all in a minute. So I'm back. Finally at the house, man. Back. I see I need to change the battery too. I'm gonna have to get the battery. I'm gonna need the camera up going there. But I um I had to go by the shop and get a spacer for the alternator. Then I went and got the racing gas and the folks at the shop, they cut me another one. I can't I can't remember because they sell a four inch and a five inch. This one right here I got from the shop. Aunt had one four inch and then he cut a five inch right here. So Got space in there though. Uh, for the alternator, need that cause you know, gotta have that water pump turn. Cause like I said, did the next day, but I told y'all, I plan on having oil press today. So I had this bolt from Unk, so I can reference to make sure I get the right bolt, the threads and all that. So I got these from Lowe's. Cause you know, they Allen head. That's what come with the, uh, them brackets. But I lost that bolt some, some way. Got the right radiator holes in there. So I'm gonna hook the radiator up. Uh, I got a, it's the old belt right there. I got a belt that's an inch shorter. Uh, let me see. Dough for big meats. So they'll stop blowing. Uh, grommets, I need a new grommet. I needed that small one for, uh, to put my cap in. So I got that. And there go the right heater hole. Y'all remember yesterday the heater hole, one size, one side was bigger. We got the right heater hole. And we got new fuel line clamp. So we good. And we got this. This is the alternator plug that I need. And we got 10 gallons of 112 octane gas. So we're gonna run 114. That's normally what I used to buy. When I get racing gas, I used to I used to like to buy 114, but I went ahead and got 10 gallons of 112 used for the break in. Uh, it was 60 for, it's fixed five dollars for five gallons. So, you know, it is what it is. We're gonna be smelling good, running good, all that. So now the the plan of attack is uh the plan of attack. Go brighten it up. Is to do the stuff that I don't really feel like doing first, but I'm gonna have to have, which is wiring. Y'all know I hate wiring, man. So. Two things gotta be done. I gotta find out where that wire's running to from the factory or harness, you know, for the factory fuel pump. Find out where it's going to, cause I wanna tie into that. I do not wanna run a uh, entirely new wire for that fuel pump, man. I don't want to. But we gotta have the fuel pump running and I got to get the fan wired up. So I'm gonna wire the fan up first, cause it's simple. It's already set up. All I gotta do is grind it on the hood and run a wire to the fuse box, 12 volt ignition, so it'll come on with key. So we're gonna hook the fan up first, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna tackle that fuel pump. Cause if all it fail, like I said, I, I just run a new wire. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this stuff out the way. Then I feel like I'm down here. Cause this stuff right here is simple. This simple and putting spark plugs in. I gotta put antiseeds on spark plugs, which I got a whole jar right there. It's still simple. So let's get to work, man. I mean, no more talking. Let's get to work. All right, checking in. Been working. Uh, I apologize, man. I'm not filming a lot of action, action shots of me working, getting it in right now because I'm really determined to get this car crunk today. So I ain't trying to be setting the camera up and all that like that. I just want y'all to hear the car. I want to hear. I want to break it in. So I'm trying to roll. But we got the fan hooked up. There it go. I'm looming all up. You got your hot and you got your ground right there. And I ran the, I ran the red wire through the loom all the way. I'm gonna tuck that on the deal. It running around there, going down there, on the there. So, ran it neat. Like I said, I'm going to loom this up. We're going to get some more of that loom right here. 
another little piece and I'm gonna loom that up so you ain't gonna be able to see it. And I'm gonna uh, probably zip tie them like that, small zip tie, get them tight together. But we got it, we got it working. Well, uh, come on with the switch. So we got action right there. So there's one thing down that I ain't want to do. Y'all see, I already ran the uh, I ran the tack wire too. I just gotta, I just gotta tuck it like I ride it like I want to ride it in the car, and then put a female end on it, and you know it'll be ready. So I just got it laid, laid out to the side, but it's ran, so it's simple. Um, let's see, that mother scribbled the wire. I gotta check that, make sure it ain't taped right. There. I don't know, I gotta take that. But, alright, now I'm about to move. I ain't too worried now, I'm just down to the fuel pump, which, like I said, I'm not too, too worried about that getting the car. I can run a hot wire to get it crunk if I want to and jump it straight to the battery. So now I'm about to finish up here. I'm about to go ahead and get the alternator belt on, the uh, spark plugs in, set it top dead center, all of that. I'm probably gonna do that next. I'm gonna set it top dead center. So I'm gonna pull this, pull it back off. So I can uh turn it with the pry bar, and then I can feel when the um I can feel when the air coming out of here, and I can drop the stripper. So I'm about to do that next. Checking in, y'all. Just found top dead center. I guess I just found top dead center. <laughs> I ain't gonna tell you no lie, but that bouncer. Mm -hmm. But one thing I like about that bouncer, it got markings on it already. You don't uh. I just know that we ain't, we ain't even have to put a line on it. Just line up zero with zero, make sure it's on the compression stroke. And we just gotta point this at number one. Look to be it. Turn the motor over. It'll drop down in there. I can't remember who said that, man. You don't supposed to turn the engine over to do it. You can do that. It ain't nothing wrong with that. Huh. So, y'all, you can bump the engine over and what? all that good stuff, and it'll drop in there. That ain't it right there, though. I know last time I pointed it forward, but it was off a little bit, so we're gonna point it right at number one this time. Get a little better. All right, so I'm checking. I'm checking in right quick. I'm feeling a few sprinkles, so I might have to stop, y'all. But this well met so far. I was just about to hook up the fuel line, but like I said, it's starting to sprinkle. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to continue today or not, but if I do, I'll catch y'all in a minute. But if I don't, I'm going to close it out. So just stay tuned. All right, so finally start sprinkling, so I'm back out here. I put the I put the bottom pulley on. Um, Got it back tight. I got to... Um, I got to take this off, man. I'll be forgetting. You, to screw this on, you got to take this off. You will never get that bolt in there. So I got to take this off. Then this is your adjustment. That's how you tighten and loosen it. So I got to put that. I got to put that in. I mean, take this pulley off. But I'm going to do that last. So right now I'm about to go ahead and zip the spark plugs in. I got my anti C's. Uh, the NDKs. I just checked one on, they already got, it's a good thing, I mean, you get what you pay for though, you buy an NGK plug, it, it costs a little more, but it's a good plug, and when you get aluminum heads, you get the ones with the, with the, the uh, threaded ones with the long one, not the short ones, not the short thread one, you get the long threaded one for aluminum heads, and all way you anti seeds. so I'm about to zip these in right quick, and I got all that plugged up, I got to put an end on that tack where I already cut it, so I'm going to put an end on it. Uh, zip the spark plugs in. I'm gonna go ahead and wire it up, put the carburetor on. Then we ought to be cranking this thing up soon. I gotta finish getting that, getting that holes up there a little bit better. Then we ought to better crank this thing up, man. I gotta figure the fuel pump out though. I'm gonna figure that out last. I gotta figure that wire out. So, 
I'm gonna get all this done, then we're gonna jump on the fuel pump. All right, checking in. Made some progress, making progress. We got all the spark plugs in. Uh, said I got that fixed. All right, checking in. Made some progress, making progress. We got all the spark plugs in. Uh, said I got that fixed. Got this all tight. Alternator, alternator belt tight. We got that. I probably need to push it up there a little bit more though. If I need to, I'll just push it up some. Then I'm going to run this after the carburetor. Get on so I can uh, get it the right length. Um, What else I did? Oh, we got the tack, the tack wire hooked up. When I ain't got that done. Uh, so now I'm about to prep the carburetor because everything up here tight and snug. So I'm about to prep the carburetor and uh, put the carb on. Put the dual line in and all that. I got to Teflon tape the fuel gauge. So I got to put the fuel pressure gauge on the line and all of that stuff. After I set the carburetor on and hook the fuel line up, then I'm going to wire it up. I'm going to wire it up. Then the last thing I have to do is uh, uh, figure out the fuel pump. And I just thought about it. The alternator got to be figured out too, Carl. I don't, I, it ain't going to be charging the battery if I um, crank it up and let it run with the alternator plug not on and I think this car since it was a 90 I think the wiring over here somewhere so that's what that's what I'm not good at y'all know that by now I, I hate wiring so I don't know man I hope Rick be able to come through today if Rick can come through then we'll let uh I get Rick to figure it out hunt down the alternator wire so it's hard but man it ain't lacking it ain't lacking nothing I'm at least right, we checking in see Rick pulled up um Checking out the alternator right now. Getting the alternator straight. I, I told y'all I ain't good with the wiring, so he getting the alternator right. Then we're gonna find where the fuel pump. We trying, like I said, we're trying to work out the factory wire back there. Cause it's a whole lot easier. It's already, it's already ran. Y'all know this came with one of them, this came with one of them in-tank pumps. So what we're trying to do with that. Now, I can tell y'all this. Probably can't crank it up today because my fuel, my dual line is too wide and it's too big. Even though I ordered it for a 4150, it's too big. But if we can get it down to where that's all we got to do, I mean, we good. And I got to order this too because y'all see it way too long. Like Rick said, set up for a throttle body. So this little stuff you got to think about when you got one of these later models. Box 70, 87 through 90s. Cause you know they fuel injected everything. They set up like a bubble basically. The dry train, all that serpentine set up. Like the, the alternator sit over here, so normally the wire. Then you say the wire run over here? The wire usually run over here and stuff. So you go in the old style setup. That stuff you gotta consider. But I'm gonna order this. I know I'm gonna have to order it. And the store don't keep this in stock. Not the factory one. Cause I'm not running the aftermarket. But I mean, as far as we can wire it up and stuff like that. Uh, so, pretty much, we get it down. This ain't important, though, as far as cranking it up and letting it break in. But we can get it up to where well, we got to just put the, the dual line on there. I mean, we'll be good. And then I was just waiting on that fuel line car. I was going to put the dual line on so we can see how long it will. But everything else, then it's going to be just tidying up. Like I said, Rick said he got the loom. He got some loom for this and all that. So... I don't know. Y'all just stay tuned. See what we get done. Alright. So found the fuel pump. Why that fast? Look at the draw, man. We just talking. We said we don't think we ever try to jump a wire. Stuck it in the, um. Stuck it in the, uh. In the fuel. In the, uh. The, uh. The relay. We stuck it in the relay connector. And I had it hooked up in the right one already. I got to put an end on it, though. So, so we got that. We ain't got to run that wire. So that's a that's a uh, peace of mind. We ain't got to run that wire. So we gonna get that figured out. Uh, worst case scenario, we just got to run it and run a wire from out of that to cut the wire out and run it back in the uh, run it back in the car. Worst case scenario, and put it on a uh, 12 volt. But we found it. So now, since I know I got it on the right wire back there, I'm about to put an end on it. Or better yet, I'm going to look for the plug because I kept the plug. I, I thought about that when I first put the gas tank in here. When I 
when I uh before I even put the electric fuel pump so I cut the connector off that plug in back there. I didn't look into the rod though and find it. So I'm gonna see if I can find that and then just butt connect the wire together and loom it up. So stay tuned. Alright, so this is where we at. All the wiring situated besides I mean the little fuel pump, but that's simple. We don't have to run no wire. That's that's simple. So we ain't worried about that. This last wiring. But I mean we got all this. He got the wires hooked up and all that. Like I said, we're gonna we're gonna put them put them in the loom the loom holders because I got some of them. We're gonna put them in those after everything get to running like it's supposed to or whatever. Got manual tote carburetor this time. Uh running the hole for the PCV or uh, PVC valve or whatever. The rest of the tidy tidy work and all that but I mean, we got everything, everything rolling. See, it's ready. It's ready to be fired off, and I'm gonna go ahead and put water in it, of course, but it's ready to be fired off, like I said, and broke in and all that, but I gotta get a dual line. So I got to get a dual line. These fittings right here, um, Vacuum hose, little simple stuff, man. Vacuum hose, cause you know I got the vacuum lines over there. Gonna have to run a T to uh, make the heat work. All that, but it down here. The rest of it, just all this stuff coming, y'all know. Like I said, I got that AC and all that stuff gonna come. Uh, power stern, all that good stuff. So yep, yeah. we about there. I just stay tuned. All right, so we just gonna. We gonna see if it if it files, at least see if the time timing right. We ain't got the we ain't got the uh, fuel line hooked up and all that. Of course, cause the dual line. If we had the dual line, hey, we're gonna have to break this bad boy in and all that. But Rick filling up the bowl and all that, putting some race fuel in it. This will get it. This will get it. We wanna see if the timing on point. And after that. I'm gonna go up on here, go ahead and put these on. Make Jesse's jaw easy so he ain't gotta do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten them down and then he can just wear the pipe to it, so. I'm just filling this up. We're gonna see if we got some action, y'all. All right. Rick got the bowl filled up. So we got. A little something y'all will be able to heal. Hopefully. We ready? Let's see what we got. It's off. Can't tell you. Come on. We in there. <laughs> That's all we want to hear, y'all. All right. That's all we want to hear. So we got it on. We got it on cue. Boy, you smell racing gas film. Just turn the key. Well, just that look. Look, look. See, I ran outside. Was <laughs> that your car? Yeah. What car? Yeah, this one. This one all flew out. Hey, we ain't got it yet. It almost that almost sounds like a lightning thunderstorm. Look, it ran when you downstairs. Get but yeah, we in there, so that's what we want to hear. But um, I'm gonna get on there. And, I'm gonna get on there and bolt these up, y'all. Then we're gonna check back in. All right, so we checking in in the house. Got um, what's your name? Rumble Stilks. Eh? Look, you got the camera. My name Rumble Stilks. And I tell him, anyway, my name is Shrek. No, nah, you ain't no Shrek. You can't be no Shrek. <laughs> y'all too pretty to be Shrek. What's your name? Hey, boy, Shrek. Say, 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 what's up, J. Malcolm supporters? What's up, Jane Michael supporters? <laughs> Say it, Sam. Hi, Misty. No, you ain't gonna do it right. We're gonna cut you out the camera, you guys. No. Say it.
I'm going to touch cut your part out. You better say, hey, J. Malcolm supporters. Hey, J. Malcolm supporters. All right. Say footage. Footage. All right, all right. <laughs> all right, y'all, but for real, now, uh, good day. Like I said, it was two days combined uh, of working or whatever. So, Dolo, I guess we can say Dolo got oil pressure. Back up, Tina. I guess we can say Dolo got oil pressure, man. So, uh, you know. We gonna uh, I can't y'all going out, y'all done, going out now. Y'all they distract me. Going out. I let gay y'all camera time. But uh yeah. So we got uh we got oil pressure, man. Dolo fired up, so we good to go. I'm very hyped, man. Shout out to Rick, man, for all the help, all the work, man. I'ma grab my boy Rick something, man. I'ma grab Rick something. Something he, he need, he want to. I'ma grab it for him. I appreciate Rick for real, man. So uh yeah, that's it, man. I guess not the next video. Not the next video y'all gonna see, cause I've been giving y'all daily vlogs. But the next budget bill episode, budget big rim bill episode, we gonna be finding up. Y'all gonna hear. It. I'm gonna get to hear. It. Everybody, Rick can get here, and we're gonna be breaking the count, I think, cause we know we got it where it's ready to run. I'm about to jump on Summit right now. Go ahead and order some parts. Or I might just drive up there, man. Me and the family might go up there. Or if they don't go, I might drive meat to all the way to summit and do a vi do y'all a video off of that. We're gonna take it on a long road trip. So I might do I might do that. We just might do that. So yeah, I'm gonna go up there, I'm gonna get a dual line. I need uh little little arsenal and stuff. But tomorrow I'm gonna go out there and go ahead and get the get the fuel pump wired into twelve volts. So we'll have that and all that, so yeah, that's it, man. I hope y'all enjoyed the vlog and everything. I'll catch y'all next one. I'm out.